Hello and welcome to another system design video and in this video we'll be covering messaging queues. Before we get into what queues are and why we use them, let's look at a simple system using a request response model. So we have a client, an application and a database. Now with the request response model, the client makes a request to the API and then it has to wait until all the processing is finished in the application layer before receiving a response. This is known as a synchronous process, which works perfectly fine for small systems where processes don't take much time, like validating a few fields and saving to a small database. But what if your system starts to get popular? Now your small database is a huge distributed database, so write times start to increase because you have to write to multiple places and update indexes. Also, instead of just a simple API that validates a few fields and writes to a database, the API needs to do a time consuming task too, and it sends another request out to send out an email. This would mean your client has to wait a lot longer for a response and all the following requests would have to wait even longer as the first request gets handled first, which could end up building a backlog of client requests. Also, the processing task and sending an email out will both be coupled even when they don't need to be. Assuming the client is not expecting anything back except a everything is okay 201 response back, a way to solve this problem could be to change your synchronous process to an asynchronous process using the publish subscribe model. For this we will need a messaging queue. So what exactly is a messaging queue? A queue is just a line of things waiting to be processed and a message is the data the publisher puts onto the queue and the subscriber takes off the queue. So a messaging queue is just a sequential line of data blocks waiting to be sent between applications. Some queues available out there are RabbitMQ, ZeroMQ, Kafka and I'm sure you'll find a few others. So how would you use a messaging queue to reduce this horrible response time? and decouple the time consuming task and sending the email. For this we will need to add two other applications into our system. One application will be responsible to write to the database and process the time consuming task and the other application will be responsible to send the email out. So now your original API will only have to handle validation. In between these services, you'll add two messaging queues, one for each application subscribed to it. Now if the client makes a request, the web application will validate the request. If everything is OK, it will publish a message on both queues and then send an immediate OK response back to the client. Meanwhile, the other two applications carry on consuming and processing the tasks off the queue completely decoupled. Another positive is the messaging queue now also allows for fault tolerance, which means if this email was not sent because of a network failure, then the message could be requeued and picked up to be processed again until it is successfully sent out. Something that could be a problem to look out for is consistency. If your request is non-idempotent, i.e. it depends on a value that is later modified, then there may be an inconsistency when another request is being made. For example, the inventory has two shoes left in stock and there is a message in the queue for an order to be processed which is for two pairs of these shoes. Now if another request comes in for a pair of shoes and checks the database before the other order has been processed, the system will allow the order to go through successfully, only to later fail when the database shows there are no more shoes left. So you have to be careful you're not introducing other problems when adding messaging queues into the system. You might need to try out other ways like different event driven API mechanisms to come up with a better user experience. So that's all for my brief intro to messaging queues. As always, if this video helped, help me help you by liking, commenting and subscribing. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next system design video.